Einen wunderschönen guten Morgen. Hier ist Indira aus dem Flughafen in Dortmund. Und wir sind es auch. Also, wir haben es geschafft, früh aufzustehen und hierher zu fahren. Ähm, wir steigen jetzt gleich ins Flugzeug und dann sehen wir uns gleich in Belgrad. Und ich freue mich darauf. Macht's gut, Leute. Bis gleich. Ciao, bis gleich. Bis gleich. Bis gleich. Tschüss. Merhaba. Merhaba. Ascal Dorda ist Just Lab. Cześć. Jedziemy właśnie na Just Lab. Dzięki Oli jedziemy bezpiecznie, chociaż pogoda nas nie rozpieszcza. To się okaże. See you soon. Ciao, ludzie. Ciao, evo nas jest przed pozorišta, upravo dočekujemo svoje partnere na projektu Paradox Pravde, koji je finansiran od strane Kreativne Evrope. Dolazi nam Grotovski institut iz Vroclava i Tater Labor iz Bielefelda i počinjemo trodnevnu razmenu metodologija i druženje, to je prva klapa ovog projekta, koji će se završiti zajedničkom koprodukcijom, koju ćete gledati za godinu dan, od prilike. Pozdrav! Ali ćemo sredovno obaveštavati o aktivnostima Ciao. The Paradox of Justice, European Laboratory Theatre Co-Production, or in short, Just Lab, is an international uh, theatrical project which is funded by Creative Europe program of the European Union and uh, which started in December in 2022 and uh, which will finish in November 2024. It is a small uh, uh, co-production project which involves three partner uh, organizations. Leading partner is Plavo Theatre from Belgrade, from Serbia, and our partners are our colleagues and long-term uh, collaborants, uh, Grotowski Institute from Poland and uh, Theater Labor Bielefeld from Germany. In the focus of our project uh, is uh, our international co-production. The co-production will be based on methodology and work of laboratory theater. This means that each of our three theaters, each of our three partner organizations will develop through the projects its own theatrical methodology which will be applied in this mutual co-production. We want to, uh, first of all, of course, cooperate and develop this kind of theatrical language which we want to promote internationally across Europe and also worldwide. The thing is, uh, that is uh, also very important for us is the theme of the project because as it says in its title, The Paradox of Justice, we want to uh, address uh, the, how to say, the, the injustice in this world which is, which is very present and also we've been witnesses of uh, increased violence uh, through years and years which has been only growing, like uh, violence against women, uh, the disabled, migrants, the elderly, but also, but also very important, the violence against nature. And as, first of all, human beings, but artists, we felt uh, responsible uh, not only to sit and watch, stand still and watch the situation develop, but to react. Uh, to create uh, and to, to, to give uh, a creative and ar artistic response.
for us, especially for us as a performance, uh, what is interesting this, uh, now I'm going to use the, the, the syntagma that Barba was using uh, because it really explained the best. Pre-expressive pre phase. So uh, it means uh, what is your work before you start to make not only performance but role, line, whatever, whatever you and in this pre-expressive uh, phase, we use trainings. Dođe sada na zaznavo samo jednu besnu bujicu, či su penoviti valovi bili sačinjeni od svih živih bića i svih stvari na svetu. We use it to practice to cut out this time between impulse and physical reaction. So between idea in mind and physical being state. So this distance, to cancel this distance. So like animals. To live what we think, to be alive. This is what means to be alive. And it's not easy. It takes good will or elan, which when you are young, it's easier because it comes with youth. But then uh, there is a moment when it needs to become a craft that you can invite. <laughs> how to be ecstatic, crazy, call it whatever you want, however you, you want it, but uh, this, this is something that... Extraordinary. 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 It, yes, it, it is a principle, it is not, because you can, you can have uh, sync sequences uh, of actions on stage with, uh, which are not ordinary, because ordinary, I go, I go like this on the street, on the stage, I can go ordinary, not only like this. But if my mind is ordinary, it doesn't count. Be because if my body is not ordinary, but my mind is ordinary, it's boring. It's, it, it is not worth of watching. So first of all, my mind has to be not ordinary, then body will fall. But there is one exercise which is also, also kind of training that we would like really to share with you, we will do all together, which, uh, in which you can really uh, uh, come in, the, in touch, in touch with, with this kind of ecstatic inner uh, energy. In, in, it's really inner feeling energy, which each of us has. <laughs> And they keep you there, and then your little consciousness that you have it disappears, and then this aesthetic, uh, ex ecstatic, ecstatic way of uh, being uh, appears faster. Yes. And I think it's it's o of course about as you said the culture, the body, the archetype, and it's everyone has it. It's just everyone. Yes. Noticing what kind of movement triggers this state.
performances very much. Uh, in, not even singing in some of the performances. And uh, if there's a training, it's mainly for us, for physical. But, and, uh, and Zar is, is a constellation of people who develop their own path. There's many of us, and there's, each of us has a little bit different path to develop. And each of us is having slightly different interests. But what we always come together with is singing. There is nothing physical in the beginning. And slowly, as we are creating the dramaturgy through the songs, Yarek is giving us the images. We enter the space, and now we do improvisations, improvisations. Everybody is actually, in that moment, using their own lines of how to approach a material, how to create the material. And then we gather all together, <laughs> we sing again, and then we show the images. That's what we wanted to share today. We wanted to share the way we meet in this space. It, it keeps certain human experience. Like the song that we would like to work with you today is a cry for mercy. Is Kiri Eleison is this moment when you are in the darkest place, the darkest moment, and you just want something to someone to give your hand. And it's this one. This moment when you stretch up and you just you don't know who you're calling. Maybe you know who you're calling. But there's this cry and inner call. So it has this function to represent what human have in common and human can understand and relate to. There's a song on Sic around Sicily. It's a fishing song. And when they are pulling the net, they have to sing it to synchronize. Mm -hmm. It gives the beat. So they know when to pull. They know when to pull, when to rest. Another song is... Uh, uh, for example, Tempus Fugit, today we will work on it. It's Kriele song, Kristele song. But because it's, for men, it's a high pitch, the image starts to appear, the expression starts to appear. And <coughs> we are into this. We are more trying to understand how to create expression and image through the singing. We have to work with the images. It's not like Kriele song. It, it has to carry something. Like mm -hmm. when yesterday, uh, especially in the plastic and the other uh, training, physical. physical work, let's say, it started to carry something. It yeah. was not for the sake of the movement. But for, for me, inside, yeah, you know. Something was resonating there. So. <laughs>
Think of this place here. Think, ma make an experiment. Think that you have a big screw right there. your head more or less touches your spine in this height. You can think of it because it's many people do it. They show it on the back of the of the neck. But in fact it's more central. It's more in the central in the centrum of the head yeah. of the skull. Yeah. If you have your jaw I, I, I touch you. Yes. If you have your jaw and it's coming up here, it's very close to the jaw. Mm -hmm. So the, the connection between the head and the spine, this atlas, is very close to the muscles that also control mouth opening. So lots of stuff that is happening while singing, for example, has to do with this balance. Okay, we do it again. What is the Alexander Technique? It's the study of the connection between thinking and moving. What you should know about is that every movement, even the movements that are happening right now, what I consider as a movement, also is sitting, for example, because it is an activity. The fact that you are all sitting on the chair is based on the fact that in your brain, a special pattern of neuro neurons give the impulse to your muscular system to make you sit. If you were sleeping right now, you wouldn't sit because this impulse wouldn't happen. Most of the thoughts regarding our movements we put into a box that we do not open. I don't have to think about my sitting right now. To be honest with you, I'm thinking about my sitting all the time. I want to know what is going on. And this is so if I say studying the connection between thinking and moving, always the thinking comes first. So Alexander Technique is a, a lot about not doing. Okay. What is there now about the connection between the head and the spine? Through all this, uh, I don't know if I should say manipulation, through, through it I recognize more the lack of movement the others body parts like you were saying that I, I didn't feel any muscle movement I didn't feel any tension I, did, I had it's hard to describe something once when I don't have reference to it because yeah I, I don't move like that I know that's why I feel like something is very mechanic like effortless and soft and easy mm -hmm. that for me emphasize Normally, I move with a lot of effort, if it makes sense. I, I believe you are putting the body, especially here, for example, and you're attaching to the nurture, nurture, neutral. neutral position. Mm -hmm. And probably because of the habits, my body's neutral position is different now. That's why it feels more uncomfortable to stay mm -hmm. in the position you are trying to put me. Mm -hmm. It even took me time that you are trying to take me to another position. I was like, ah, oh, she's just putting the hands, okay. No, then I, wait, 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 wait. There's little, wait, wait. <laughs> it's this micro thing yeah. is happening. Yeah. It's like, do you know these, these children's snakes? Yes, toys yes. With the front, mm -hmm. like, yeah. 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 if you have the head fixed. It doesn't work. Boop, 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 boop. Mm -hmm. So this, the space here, because it's such a delicate thing and it's a huge um, entity here. It's five, six kilos on an on a atlas that is... I could break this atlas with my hands. Easy. So it's a super yeah, easy. It's a sensitive thing, sensitive structure with a big thing on it. Like... So it's always good to start here. And then the f all the rest will just follow.
talk about this stuff and we uh, and think about it, we have some ideas in our own mind now. You have an image of what some of these ideas did something in your mind. And I would be curious to know if we can share those ideas, but if we now start to just talk, the thing that happens is the first idea comes and the second idea comes and maybe there's one person who really likes to speak and they keep speaking and this dynamic of talking about it, it can work, but I would like to put in a little bit more creativity and a little bit of slowing down the process. So therefore, I would like to do some writing. My impression is that for co-production co is good because it's it's covering uh, a, a, a wide spectrum. Maybe if we imagine that we are troop uh, living together, maybe it would not be a good idea. But for this kind of project, I, I think it's good because we 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 really cover a wide spectrum, the, so wide that for maybe for some person it would be like. How to connect this? I mean, are you crazy? Uh, these people uh, uh, jumping yesterday, then this singing, then this uh, snail. <laughs> <laughs> How to put this together? I mean, but uh, well, the most uh, interesting is that we feel there is a strong connection. And uh, in the human sense, of course. Plava Theatre decided to approach the topic of justice from the point of view, mostly from the point of existential inability to reach justice. And this is why we chose as a base for the process of creative work uh, one story of Franz Kafka. This story is titled Before the Law, and it was published as a self-standing story during his life, but later it became a part of ninth chapter of his uh, novel, The Trial. Uh, so this story we chose as a platform uh, which uh, allows us to interpret uh, this attempt to enter into law, into justice, uh, from the personal point of view. And this is what, how Plavo Theatre always approaches to theatre generally and to creative process, from the personal needing. We chose the team for our own part of this project, of course in relation to the theme of the overall project, which was the paradox of justice. And we were inspired to take a, another angle to this theme, which is coming from uh, Donna Haraway and her book that is called Staying with the Trouble. And um, we wanted to see if we could find, a, well, a bit of a perspective shift when it comes to this uh, idea of justice. And she provides us with a framework, so to say, or, or, or a, a spark for our thoughts. Um, there are three elements that we take from her theory that we want to at least depart from, from for now, for the start of the project. Um, the first one is related to the title of the book, Staying with the Trouble, and really consider what it means and what she means by it. There are two things that she mentions when it comes to this staying with the trouble. The first thing is that she says, I am not so interested in thinking about uh, solving problems in some uh, idealistic future or some future to come. I am interested in figuring out what to do in the present. And it also means I am not interested in reiterating the past all the time, thinking about how it could have been told different. I want to stay present with what is happening now. I mean, our idea of, 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 the, of the project, of the performance, which will be made, it's related to the, to the main idea of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the whole project for all partners. 
I mean, it is a kind of theatrical response for the for the facts of the of the changes in the society, which are kind of influencing the the level of of justice in justice in the in the society, and also are related to the changes the the social changes, maybe the the political changes in the in the country. So we want to give a, a kind of answer using the theater tools, and we want to, I mean, come and not stay silent in, 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 in the situation we are living in the changing world at the moment. I think this is very important. That's why we also decided to, to jump into that project. This project, for, I think, is mostly important because of that, uh, to empower these kind of groups and uh, also provide a possibility for them to share knowledge, to exchange and in that way also to support each other and um, also these kind of projects they provide the opportunity to develop uh, theatrical methodology further um, because theater as a media is in a way with all the technology around us uh, it's endangered species so these kind of projects uh, allow us to to research and to fight for, for the space for theater as a media to survive, to develop and to follow the demands of nowadays uh, spectators and audience.